We make decisions based on self, which later place us in a position to be hurt. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at what's going on in the YouTube community and see if we can turn, take this mess and turn it into a message. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, I just, I just endured 46 minutes of Tana Mojo explaining about how Lil Xan cheated on her and Noah Cyrus doesn't like her. And yeah, TLDR, she started hooking up with Lil Xan. He begged her for a relationship. She got into one for, with him for like five minutes, found out he was hooking up with a bunch of other girls. There you go, there's the tea, sis, all right? But anyways, like at the end of the day, at the end of the day, like Tana Mojo is a young woman, she's trying to figure things out, it's gonna take her a while to do so, and if you idolize Tana Mojo, if you look up to Tana Mojo, that is cool, that is totally cool. You do you, boo. But one of the reasons I take topics like this and I wanna discuss them is because a lot of people can identify with Tana Mojo. Hell, in my younger days, I can identify with Tana Mojo, and one thing that we have to look at is, are we the common denominator? Do we have a broken picker, right? So one of the things that Tana Mojo discussed was, one of the things that made her want to finally release this video and talk about this situation was because of what just recently happened with Brad Sousa, right? So like, here's the thing. Some of us just have a broken picker. Like, I used to have a broken picker. I kept getting into toxic relationship after toxic relationship after toxic relationship, right? Why do women treat me so, so, so badly? And we start to get this victim mentality that every person is terrible, right? Now, not to say that men haven't screwed over Tana Mojo, not to say that women haven't screwed me over, but the thing was, I was the common denominator. I had a broken picker. I kept finding certain types of women and then I was surprised by the results. Like, my type used to be like crazy, feisty women. I didn't like women who had like their stuff together or their life together. I didn't like that, that was boring, right? But then I was utterly shocked when my type was crazy women and then crazy stuff happened. You know what I mean? And this is a process and we gotta look at that. We gotta step outside of the situation. So basically, like Tana Mojo like discusses how like, she, she had this type and why she was attracted to Lil Xan, knowing dang well, like she, she mentioned like, you know, he hooks up with a lot of women and he could do it, you know, all this and that and that and that, you know, whatever, right? But like, at what point do we know this about somebody? So you might be somebody out there and maybe you, you're like me and you like looking at, you know, for specific types of women, right? Or you're like Tana and you, you like bad boys, right? Oh, I like bad boys. But then like, we're completely baffled when that person does that. So at what point do we look at this and we start saying like, whoa, whoa, is there something down deeper? Like, why am I attracted to this type of person? Why am I drawn to this type of person? And this is one of the billion reasons why so many people need therapy. Like, we do not understand why we're even seeking these people out. Why are we drawn to these people? Why aren't we drawn to somebody who just has like a chill life or even their life together? You know what I mean? A lot of it goes back to childhood and the relationships that we have with our parents. But anyways, go to therapy, you'll figure that out, right? But one of the things that helped me out a lot, and maybe it's something that you need to do or somebody like Tana Mojo needs to do, is stay single for a while. Like, I realized that a long time ago, and I stayed single for over a year and a half when I first got sober, because I realized that I was, like, strangely and oddly and insanely attracted to a certain type of woman. And even after a year and a half, like, on the scale of that, you know, type I was dating, I, I knocked it down a few few notches, but I was still attracted to that, that certain type. But the year and a half, the reason why that was so beneficial to me, so beneficial to not only stay single, but not hook up, was because I learned how to be comfortable being alone. One of the reasons that I feel that so many of us get into these bad relationships is because when we are so afraid of being alone, when being alone is our biggest fear, we keep setting the bar 
lower, right? So we see certain behaviors in another person, we see certain red flags, but we're so afraid of being alone and not having somebody there with us to show us love and attention and affection that we will lower our standards and get into a terrible relationship and waste our damn time, all right? so. I'm gonna talk about her situation with Jake Paul even though I'm pretty sure it's fake. But before I move on to that, I wanna talk about Adam22's situation in this, okay? And one of the reasons why I, I keep covering the James Charles topic and I cover these YouTuber topics is because like, I want all of you watching this or these videos to so take a look at your friend groups, right? Like when I'm sitting there watching YouTubers and when people are talking about their own character or the character of the YouTuber they're watching. When I say character, like, what are their morals? What are their values? What are things like that? Like, people have these, like, friends, and they are just ride or die for these friends because this is such a good friend. Like, Adam22 sounds like a garbage friend, and let's not even talk about his, his shady past and the problematic things that he's done and the things that he's been accused of, but let's just talk about this. He hooked Tana Mojo up with, or wanted to hook her up with Lil Xan, knowing damn well what Lil Xan was like. All right, like think about that for a second. Like, is that a good friend? Is that a good friend? Would you want one of your friends to hook you up with somebody who behaves, behaves like that? The only reason I'm bringing that up is because when I listen to Lil Xan on the recent No Jumper podcast, I don't like that. I, I just, not a fan of uh, Adam22, but a lot of people recommended I watch that episode of the No Jumper podcast. But anyways, in that podcast, Adam22 again was trying to hook Lil Xan up with Tana Mojo. Like, what, dude? What? Because this situation with Tana Mojo and Lil Xan happened a couple of years ago, like she said, like, and you're just like, hey, you know what? You know it'd be a good idea, Tana. You should go through that again. Because, you know, Lil Xan has grown and changed a lot. No, heck no. And especially the fact, the sad, sad, sad fact, and I know a lot of people question Tana's mo uh, motives for being vocal about this, but she had that relationship with Mac Miller. Right? Lil Xan, if, if he doesn't get his act together, he's going down that same path. But anyways, like check in with your friends. See who your friends are recommending that you date. Like if your friends like certain people, like I don't know, like ask yourself like, why do they want me to be with this person? Is it because they're good and loyal to me and they treat me right? Or is it because they like to party and go crazy and go nuts, use drugs? Or is it because they, they buy me things and travel places? Like why are, why are your friends wanting you to get with certain people. Or sometimes we have friends who want you to get with somebody just so they can reap the benefits too. You know what I mean? But the last thing I wanna talk about is another video I endured this morning, uh, drinking my morning cup of coffee, was Tana Mojo's new video with Jake Paul about them being parents. Now, I am 99.9% .9 sure this whole thing is fake or whatever, they're probably just hooking up, but I like to check out the comments and see what other people are saying about videos, you know? And a lot of people are like, yay, Jana, Jana, this is why I ship this relationship. Like, are you out of your mind? Like, does anybody forget who Jake Paul is? Like, does anybody forget what Jake Paul did to Alyssa Violet? What Jake Paul did to Erica Costell? Like, if Tana Mojo dated Jake Paul, it would probably be top 10 worst decisions of her life, all right? And Tana's made a lot, a lot of bad decisions. But like, Jake Paul has had years of doing this type of behavior. And one of the things, one of the things is this, like Tana Mojo has been open about being, you know, she's fine with being in open relationships and, and things like that, that's cool. One of the things that I think is the biggest issue for most people is they don't know what they want. They don't know what they want. And it seems like Tana Mojo has been on the receiving end of that more than anything from her accounts of stories is that she finds men who say they want to be monogamous and she's like cool with that and she'll be loyal to them, but they go do their own thing. But there's a problem I see with a lot of people. Like you guys, I'm, I'm 33 years old. I have friends around my age. I have friends in their you know mid to late twenties and things like that. And one of the biggest issues is people don't know what they want. Like if you want to just hook up with people and not have a serious relationship, do yo thing boo. The, the, the problem that happens with a lot of people is that 
mixed signals start getting crossed and everything like that. Like, I truly believe that's one of the downfalls of James Charles with his relationships with Gage Gomez and that waiter from Seattle was that there weren't clear conversations set up beforehand, right? There weren't clear conversations about, listen, I, I, I'm not gonna promise you anything serious. I don't know how far this is gonna go. I'm questioning my sexuality. I just wanna see where this goes. You know what I mean? Like a conversation like that. But so many people, so many people don't have that honest conversation because they are too quick to wanna get their rocks off. They're too quick to wanna get the person in bed. And then they're wondering why the other person got caught some feelings. You know what I mean? So like, if you wanna be in an open relationship, if you just wanna hook up with people, do your thing. Just have an honest conversation with somebody beforehand. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to get your name in the credits, get involved in our monthly Q&A, help support what I'm doing here, you can click or tap right there. All right, thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.